Hello, Roadrunner fans. This is JJ Perez from Inside Runner Sports, and you are tuned in to a new edition of the 13 Questions podcast, where we sit down with different players inside of UTSA football and ask them the same 13 questions throughout this 2022 season. Today, we sit down with safety Ken Robinson, uh, kind of a staple with, with the team the last few years. Ken started as a cornerback on the Roadrunner defense and slowly has transitioned to the safety position. Um, pretty good conversation with Ken. Let's jump right into it. Ken Robinson on the 13 Questions podcast. JJ Perez here from Inside Runner Sports with the 13 Questions podcast. Ken Robinson, thanks for joining us. It's a little new podcast I started trying to get to know the guys a little bit better personal sports stuff you know okay okay i'm asking everybody the same questions though so it's kind of unique in that in that in that fact so question number one let's kick it off here what is your policy on naps how do you feel about them do you take them how long do you how long do you like yeah i I love naps to be honest um so i feel like anytime i'm sleeping less than eight hours during the nighttime, I'll probably tack on an extra hour worth of naps. Really? Yeah. yeah. So anything under eight, I got to take a nap. Is that a football player thing? You got to just make sure you're rested up, right? Yeah. I feel like that's a football thing. I'll try to at least do seven to eight hours of sleep. Yeah, a night. I got you. Sounds good. Speaking of sleeping, how often do you have dreams about football? And what was your most recent dream about? Man, Man dreams about football. I say probably every Saturday after the games, and then Thursday and Friday before the games, uh-huh. I'm always having dreams about football. Just like making plays yeah, or just, just visualizing plays, stuff? Visualizing what I need to do, best best case scenario, worst case scenario, all of that. So, yeah, my most recent dream, most recent dream, I think, I think it was after this game. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So, that's interesting. UAB game. Interesting. Question number three, thinking of the football players and coaching staff, Kind of everybody with the football program. Which current person have you known the longest, and how did you meet them? Rashad, Rashad Wisdom. We met actually on Twitter. Um, you know, he was already a commit before I committed here, so he put together a little group chat of all the the people that he wanted to come to UTSA, and I was part of that. And uh, the friendship has just blossomed since then. You a big social media guy? Yeah, I am. I'm not yeah. a big. I don't. I'm not a big poster. Like you don't yeah. catch me posting every every yeah. day, every other day. But you know, there's a lot of in, uh, informative stuff on. Gotcha, there. gotcha. If you could pick one form of social media to use and drop all of the rest, which would it be and why? Mm, Twitter. Yeah. Twitter. It yeah. has a little bit of everything on there. Yeah. A lot, lots of news and stuff yeah, too, news right? Too. There's a lot of negativity though, right? On that more than or. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. A lot of a lot of I guess bots is what you call yeah. them, trollers. Yeah. 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 So you gotta watch out for those. You big uh rap guy? Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Who who are the three greatest rappers of your generation? My generation. Gotta put Drake in there. Okay. Gotta put Lil Baby in there. Okay. And Young Thug. Young Thug. I know I know all those guys, yeah. so that's good. Yeah, yeah that's Drake, great. Lil Baby and Young Thug. That's top three. Question number six. This one I struggle with the most personally. What's the best way to get out of a conversation with someone who will not stop talking Ooh, to you? Me too. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm, it's hard, right? Yeah, I'm like, when it comes to situations like that, I'm awkward. Like, I'll just have, like, some awkward silence and then kind of kind of drift away a little bit. I don't yeah. know how to just end it verbally. Yeah. It's hard, right? You don't want to be rude. You don't want to be rude. You don't want to tell them to, to be quiet. Yeah. So. Yeah, it's, like, it's just like a little awkward silence. Yeah, I, I got you. That'll work. Question number seven. This is a wild card from me to you. How co- how close was it that you almost didn't come here? And what was your journey like kind of getting out of high school and coming to the Roadrunners? Man, so um, UTSA was probably the highest level school that was closest to home for me. Yeah. So that kind of sold me. Right. Uh, didn't sell my parents, though, because I had a lot of Ivy League school offers. Yeah. Um, that was out in the Northwest. I yeah. mean, they were great schools. I took visits and, and stuff everywhere, but... Uh, distance from home was getting to me not a lot of familiar faces out there not a familiar setting so that's that's really all I wanted whenever I came to college just yeah highest level of football closest to home with like a sort of familiar setting I mean you have to have it between the ears pretty pretty highly to to have those kind of I I guess people don't think a lot about that about you how 
how much important was the studies in your in your life growing up? Just, oh yeah, that was the number one thing. Well, yeah. number two thing first. Yeah. God, God was always first in my life. He is still always first in my life, and yeah. Before I came, uh, after I came home, before I did anything, I'm doing homework. Yeah. That's that's what my mom and dad drilled into me. So. Got you, got you. You big uh, NBA guy, Hooper? Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Let me ask you, who are your, who's your NBA goat? Jordan, Kobe, or LeBron? LeBron, man. Yeah. Gotta go, LeBron. I I have respect for all three of those players, though. Like it's it's really hard to choose. Whenever I say LeBron, I feel like I'm down in Kobe or or Jordan, but it's just LeBron's just different. He's like underrated with defense too, yes, right? Yeah. He is. Yeah. Not. Nah, he is, but like he does take plays off. I yeah, can't lie. he yeah. takes a couple of plays off. Yeah, that's a generational thing too, yeah. right? Like I think the older guys are like Coach Trailers a Jordan guy. Yeah, yeah. So. yeah, I just feel like it's part of whatever generation you're from. Question number nine. I want you to go back to the beginning of your college career when answering this question. Mm-hmm. A genie appears and offers you the opportunity to go back to the beginning of your career. You start all over, but you get to retain all of the knowledge you have now. Would you go back and start all over, or stay where you're at now? Mm. Mm. Would I go back and start over? I feel like I feel like I I feel like I would go back and start over. Yeah. Cuz not not as far as well, I just feel like I I I I have a lot of plays that I left out on the field in the uh-huh. recent years that mm-hmm. I could go back and make. Yeah, it don't, I don't think it's really based on knowledge; it's just based on experience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah I, I probably would go back. Yeah, it's, not to say that I'm not grateful with where I'm at right now because uh-huh. I definitely am, but I know I could been been somewhere better yeah i've been i've been surprised about the answer like half the guys would go back half yeah. of them wouldn't and it's like yeah, some that's of the, a tough question yeah that's and, a real and, tough question. and you think some of the guys that have been like really like injured and stuff mm-hmm. like they wouldn't want to go back because you got to go there to get to where you're at right. now too so but I, i'd go back just with the just for the experience like right. you said so question number 10 i want you to think about celebrities could be other sports figures movie stars anybody Coach Trailer, your position coach, and Coach Philo, strength and conditioning, have to miss a game. The athletic department's going to let you decide who goes in their place, but it has to be a celebrity so they can market it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. So, okay. so head coach, safety's coach, who's also the defensive coordinator for right. you, and uh, strength and conditioning, who you throwing out okay, there. Okay, so head coach. Yeah. Head coach, I'll go with... I'll go with Denzel Washington. That's a good off, one. Uh, remember the Titans. Remember the Titans, yeah. Position coach. Hmm. Position coach. Who's another? Who's another prominent coach celebrity like in a movie? Could it be like a celebrity athlete? Yeah, it could okay. be anybody. Yeah, any current okay. athlete, former athlete, anybody. Okay, so position coach, I'm taking um, Ryan Clark. Okay, the safety from yeah from, uh, from the Steelers. Yeah, and then strength and conditioning coach. Somebody crazy. I need somebody crazy. Terry Crews. Yes. <laughs> yeah. No, Terry that's Cruz. a good one. We had yeah. a lot of the Rock. So yeah, far, the Rock. Yeah, yeah the yeah. Rock too. Yeah, good one. Question number eleven: What is the last new habit or lifestyle change you've you've made that you're particularly proud of? Um, I would say starting up reading again. Yeah, yeah, I did that a lot uh, throughout high school and then through college. Just class and football kind of mm-hmm. kind of took me out of it. And then there were a couple books that my teammates put me on that kind of give got me back into the groove of reading. So yeah, yeah, I'm real proud of that. What do you like to read? Um, really, just a lot of inspirational books. I read yeah. Chopwood, Carry Water. Okay. Um, the Alchemist. Um, this Fifty Cent book is basically like his autobiography of how he came uh-huh. up in New York. Those are the, the the three books that I've read so far. Wow, that's really interesting. Yeah. As a college student, you read a lot to begin with, right? Oh, like, yeah. yeah. So, so reading that, on top of that, that's why I'm proud yeah. of it because, like, yeah, usually no. I'll just be like, I'm done. Doing yeah, that's work. that's great. Question number twelve: When you think about UTSA football five years from now, what are you most optimistic about, and what worries you the most? Five years from now, I'd expect probably like maybe two two uh, AAC conference championships. Talks to go into a Power Five. Um, Coach Trailer still here, obviously. Um, 
yeah, that's 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 basically about it. And what I mean, worries you the most? Mm, forgetting where we came from. Yeah. Forgetting where we came from, yeah. Because, like, I I was part of that class. I was part of, like, one of the last classes that was in that old field house. Yeah. So, like, I'm seeing new people come in, and, like, they have no idea what we're talking about when, it's, when we talk about the jail cell. Yeah. Because it was, it was a jail cell back there. So, yeah, just just making sure that everybody knows how, how down bad UTSA was at, at one point and how we turn that around and hopefully just keep developing and keep getting yeah. it better. Question number 13, my last one for you is another wild card. Let me ask you, when you think about your, your time here, you've seen the, the program transform a ton. What, what what are some of the just biggest things that have changed? Yeah, yeah, you just mentioned the race facility, but mm-hmm. just as a program and the coaching staff and everything, like how have you seen this program grow in the time you've been here? Mm, I've seen it grow. I've seen it grow from more of a business to a family, yeah. to be honest. Definitely. Yeah. Like twenty nineteen it was it was all business. I didn't there were there were relationships on the team, but I feel yeah. like they were solely based on performance. Yeah. Um twenty twenty it was kind of a little bit of business, but they were implementing their, their family culture just mm-hmm. because it's their first year there, they're trying yeah. to figure stuff out. And in these last two years I, I've I've felt nothing but love from from all the coaches, all the teammates. Even in twenty twenty I knew that I, I knew that this would be a um a school or a culture that could that could accomplish great things to be honest. So yeah, I'm just I'm just excited about how far we came and how far we had to go. All right, man, that'll wrap it up. I appreciate you. Thanks for taking the time. Yes sir, thank you. Thanks to Ken Robinson for taking the time to record that interview. We actually did that at the uh, Jeff Trailer Radio Show this past week. And, uh, yeah, I mean, looks like Ken's going to be a little bit of a fixture in this defense here. Um, I think most people feel like he's a little bit undersized as a safety. Um, But I think his experience at corner and just playing all the reps in the defense kind of helps him with some of that. He's a real smart and heady player, I guess that's the term I'd probably describe him as. I mean, you got to be pretty smart to have those Ivy League offers like he talked about. And I think that was a pretty interesting aspect of the conversation where I don't think most people realize how smart of a guy this is. And, um, yeah, I also enjoyed uh, him telling us about the reading aspect of his life and I'm for sure going to, you know, check out some of those books he mentioned. But, you know, I appreciate Ken for taking the time. And thanks to UTSA for setting that up. Uh, 13 Questions Podcast. Check it out on all the major podcast platforms by searching The IRS Pod. It's on Apple, Google, Spotify, everywhere. iHeart, anywhere you could think of. And if it's not, let me know and we'll be sure to set that up. So appreciate everybody listening. We will be back next week with another edition of the 13 Questions podcast, Guests to be Determined. Thanks for listening.